The two protagonists in Martin Scorsese's Silence and in Roland Jolfi's The Mission offer its audience different perspectives on the value of temporal life and the hope of life after death. By the manner in which these two characters regard their own life and death, in comparison to their regards for those of others, the following will demonstrate that Father Gabriel in The Mission portrays a more authentic form of Catholicism than Father Rodriguez in Silence. What should a Catholic hope for in death? The dying of the body is the reunification of the soul with the Creator and all of his saints in everlasting happiness. More specifically, when someone dies for their beliefs, known as martyrdom, their soul goes directly to heaven where it holds a special place since they have shown that their love for God is greater than their love for life. Watched them die. On the other hand, if a person is to die when having committed a mortal sin, their relationship with God has been broken and their soul perishes. This is important because when in the face of death, a Catholic who has confessed their sins should have the hope of paradise. That God might take me back. Bless me, Padre. Oh, I have sinned! At the same time, they should be wary of falling into sin to avoid God's judgment and be denied their entrance in heaven. In the mission, Father Gabriel, the founding Jesuit of the mission in the Guarani lands of South America, conceals his humanly fear of death with the hope and courage he has obtained from bringing the good news to these people. Knowing very well that his life is in danger, and that he has no mode of communication with the indigenous people, he places himself in the center of danger for his cause. In silence, Father Rodriguez goes to Japan, fully aware of the terrible Christian persecution that is going on there. He is ready to be put to the test and continuously says, In regards to their own mortal lives, like all humans, the two priests are afraid of death, but are willing to face it to bring truth to all nations. That's why we call it the truth. If a doctrine weren't as true here in Japan as it is in Portugal, then we couldn't call it the truth. You want to test my faith? Give me a real challenge. Bring me to the Inquisitor. The life and death dilemma is certainly more difficult when faced with making decisions about the lives and deaths of others. Both missionaries have for goal to bring the truth to the people in order for them to convert and save their souls. In the Bible, Jesus says in John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Therefore, by denial of faith, one is rejecting Jesus, which is the only way to the Father who lives in heaven. Being priests, both Father Gabriel and Father Rodriguez should be well aware of this fact. Nevertheless, incidents show that Father Rodriguez in silence finds the duration of temporal life to be of more value than that of everlasting life in heaven. What shall we do? Trample. Trample. That's all right to trample. What are you saying? You can't. In the film, Father Rodriguez is captured along with other Japanese peasants. In that moment, his fear of death takes over his senses. Why are you so calm? We are all about to die like that. 
While his mission is to bring hope in the face of persecution, Father Rodriguez is failing to be the strong pillar that the Japanese people need. You got to still hear my confession. No, I can't. No, I can't. After choosing to save the temporal lives of the five peasants by apostatizing, Father Rodriguez has lost all purpose in the mission. Since he was the last remaining priest in Japan, the hidden Christians will no longer be able to participate in the sacraments of the Mass and confession. To save five lives on earth, he has stopped being the hope. His life becomes meaningless. On the other hand, Father Gabriel in the mission stands his ground in his certainty that in dying for Christ, all the people in the village will be reunited in heaven. I want to renounce my vows of obedience. Trust you? No, it's Ralph and John too. While the priests that were accompanying him on this mission decide to renounce their vows of obedience in order to fight and kill for their land, Father Gabriel stays obedient. He begins to pray the Mass as the guns fire around him and the Guarani tribe. Although every priest and people of the tribe is killed by the end, some die trying desperately and failing to defend the tribe against the Spanish and the Portuguese, while the others die adoring Christ and remembering his suffering before they would finally be reunited with him. The two opposing positions of the Jesuit priests can be narrowed down to their prayer life. However much the two might have been educated, the strength in their faith is revealed by their trust in God. In silence, Father Rodriguez is continuously praying. His prayers are directed towards what he believes is just. Apostatize, apostatize! For their sake, Lord, do not leave this to us! He prays for the Japanese Christians to be spared, and he waits for God to answer him. He becomes impatient when he sees that many Christians are getting killed all around him. Father Rodriguez believes that he has been abandoned since God is being silent. Silent, give it to him. <laughs> silent, cold, silent. Oh, no, no. Ludicrous, ludicrous. Stupid. Stupid. I don't want. He's not going to answer. When ordered by Cardinal Altamirano to leave the mission in the Guarani lands, Father Gabriel in the mission listens to his conscience, and he knows that if he were to leave this place, the indigenous would lose their hope since their newly found faith was still at its beginnings. Therefore, Father Gabriel remains with the tribe, mindful that God is love and he does not abandon his people. You promised your life to God and God is love. Father Gabriel may be afraid, but he does not doubt the presence of God in the midst of death. Going back to the initial theme of the value of temporal life and death in the films Silence and The Mission, it is essential to note that the weakness of men is great, and that it is only by God's grace that one can achieve martyrdom. Giving up being so simple, it is impossible to judge the character of Father Rodriguez, whose fear of suffering is so great that he inevitably renounces his faith to save five temporal lives. However, Observing from a Catholic perspective, Father Gabriel's hope in everlasting life, as well as his readiness to give up his life and those of others without a fight, with the conviction that love is shown by leading others to Christ, in life or in death, is what classifies him as one to have a more genuine form of the Catholic faith than that of Silence's 
father, Rodriguez.